Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading so that we can see how you can use the energies of this week to make a really enjoyable, productive week for yourself. Okay, this week we have a mix of all of the elements, which I love to see. That doesn't happen very often, and when it does, what it tells me right off the top is that we're all very well balanced this week. We're using all aspects of our being to make life work this week, and that's really a good thing because that means everything gets covered with relative ease. To start the week, do a little bit of meditation time. Allow your mind to quiet and come to center and just have some space where mentally you're not scattered at the very beginning of the week. That'll help set the tone for staying focused on the things that you're doing all week and it'll help you approach things from a calm place. Also early in the week, choose one thing that is a bit of a conflict or an issue or a struggle in your life and decide that you're resolving it and you're resolving it now. Make sure that it's something that you actually can bring to completion by the end of this week, not something that's an ongoing issue that you've struggled with for years and years and years, but something that the re resolution of that would have a beneficial impact in your life and that you can actually do it in the next seven days. This week, I'd like you to be a little bit frugal in how you use your energy. Now, your energy can be your emotions, it can be your thinking, it can be the money that you put into the world, it can be your interactions with other people. Any place where you're extending energy into the world this week, pay attention and do a little bit less of that than what you normally would in that area. Keep just a little bit more to yourself and don't get extravagant with anything that you're doing this week. When you know you've reached the, the limit of your comfort, stop right there instead of going a little bit further. And be enthusiastic. This is a great week, especially as you move toward the end of the week, for your natural fire to come up and your, your joy about life, your enthusiasm about whatever it is that you're doing to really be brought out. And at the very end of the week, it's time to start synthesizing, allowing what you know and who you are to become one. Because this is showing up at the end of the week, I want you to look at that synthesis from the perspective of what's occurred this week. You started with a place of stillness and meditation, and you move through a series of things into an expression of your exuberance, of your joy and your vibrance about life. How do you synthesize stillness and inner peace with excitement and outer expression and just joy for the world? So in summary for this week, we're beginning with stillness, an inward perspective, some meditation, some connecting with ourselves. We're choosing to resolve something that can be resolved this week and that it's to our benefit to resolve. We're also being a little bit on the conservative side with how we spend money, how much time and energy we put into activities and into other people this week. We're also letting that fire flame bright. Let it burn and show the world how excited you are about being alive. And then we're finishing our week by be becoming one with ourselves, by synthesizing all the experiences we've had so that we're whole as we begin the next week. Have a really great week as you move from your inner world to your outer world and pull the two together in a way that works. Mm.